Let's apply our knowledge of the perimeter of quadrilaterals to compound figures. Compound figures can be made of different shapes, including recti rectangles and squares. And some of these properties become very, very important when understanding a compound figure. For example, a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles and two pairs of opposite congruent sides. So to keep that in mind, I need to know that opposite sides are congruent. If I know one measure, I know the other. This helps me infer when I'm trying to find missing sides. I also know that all angles are congruent, which, which means they're all right angles. This can help me not necessarily calculate a missing side, but can help me identify a rectangle, which allows me to use those properties of congruent sides. If I was going to find the per, uh, perimeter of a rectangle, I would need to find all four sides. The perimeter is just the sum of all sides together, so I'm going to use those properties. If I know that 6 inches is the side on the bottom, the side exactly opposite is also 6 inches. If I know that the side to the right is 3 inches, then that means the congruent side opposite is also 3 inches. Now I just need to add up all of my missing sides. 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6, that's 9 plus 9, which is 18 inches. The perimeter is just inches, not inches squared. This is a direct direction. It's like counting steps. Knowing the properties of squares can also help us find the perimeter of a compound figure. A square is a parallelogram with four right angles and four congruent sides. It's important to know that all four sides are congruent. If I know that I have a square, then I know those two sides and those two sides. If I'm given one side, I know all four sides because they're all congruent. They're all the same exact measure. Knowing that all four angles are congruent, more specifically their right angles, does help us identify the shape because of these properties. The, the opposite sides, or in this case, all four sides congruent, and all four angles are congruent, this makes the square a rhombus and a rectangle at the same time. It gets the right angles from the rectangle, and it gets the congruent sides from the rhombus. Let's find the perimeter of a square. All I need to do is add up all my sides. I need to find all four sides and then find the sum. So I need to use my properties. I know that all four sides are congruent. So if that side's 8, that means that all four sides are 8. So I just need to add up 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, which gives me 16 and 16, or 32 feet. Sometimes you'll see a formula for the perimeter of a square, which is just 4 times a known side. That's a shortcut that will work as well. Let's look at this compound figure and find its perimeter. Just like the square, just like the rectangle, I need to find all of the sides and add them up. I know 2 inches, 7 inches, 6 inches, and 3 inches. I'm missing that side that's on the left side, and I'm missing the bottom side. So I start by finding all of the known shapes. I see here two rectangles. So if I extend that line, I make two very clear rectangles. Now I need to find missing measurements. I can do this by using the properties of the sides that I know, or I can use line segment rules. So in this case, I'm going to find this side. I know that the full height of this shape is 6 feet. That same height exists at that point where that x measure is. There's x plus something else. If I look, that something else is the height of my top rectangle, 2 inches. So that means that x plus 2 is the same as saying 6 feet. Those two measurements have the same length as 6 feet. So I can solve for x. I'm going to subtract both sides, uh, or subtract 2 from both sides. That'll give me x equals 4. So that measurement is 4 inches. The only side left to find is that bottom side of our compound figure. I can use the same logic. 7 inches runs the full length of this shape. If I go towards the middle where 3 inches and where I drew in that purple line to make the rectangle split, I see that 3 plus something is the same length as 7 inches. 
Because I know the properties of the bottom rectangle, I know that that something, that purple line, is congruent to x because they're opposite sides. They're going to be the same measure. So I can plug in 3 plus x equals 7. 3 inches plus that unknown distance is equal to that total length of 7 inches. This is why it's very important to find a total length, find an unknown length, and find the other parts of that total length. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. That'll give me 4. So this measure is 4 inches. I know all of my sides. I use the properties of rectangles in order to find missing sides. I use the properties of line segments and how they add together to find those missing values. Find 4 inches and 4 inches. Now I could also infer some missing sides. I could know that that portion of the 6 inch side is 2 inches. But since I already know that whole side, I don't need that measure. Since I know that that bottom rectangle is actually a square, since two of the sides are congruent, two perpendicular sides more specifically are congruent, that means that all four of those sides are 4 inches. However, those measures don't help us. If you ever get stuck, just find missing values. Then you can just determine which values help you find the perimeter or may help you find the area. Now I need to add all my sides together. I have 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7. If I walk all the way around that shape, that's the distance in inches that I traveled. I add them all up, I get 26 inches. On your own, find the perimeter of these two compound figures. Break each one into known figures, in this case known rectangles or squares, and then take the time to find the missing sides. Either infer using the properties of, of rectangles and squares, or use what you know about line segments, find a total, find a part, find an unknown, and set up an equation to find those missing sides. Once you have all your missing sides, take the time to add them all together to calculate your perimeter.